Right now, jurors are deliberating in the Jesse Smollett trial, but before they could even begin, the defense called for an alternate juror to be brought in. CBS News' Charlie Meyer live at the courthouse. Charlie. And Brad and Erica, the jury has been deliberating since 2.45, but Judge James Lynn just sent the jury home for the day, and that's due to a scheduling conflict that one of the jurors had. He couldn't stay past 5.15 today. He had something to do with his kids, so the jury will be back tomorrow morning to continue deliberations. As for those closing arguments, the defense in this case, Jesse Smollett's attorney, said that the prosecutor's case was built like a house of cards, saying you add a little pressure to it, and it all crumbles. But Special Prosecutor Dan Webb, he went after Smollett and said they caught him in several lies on the witness stand. The jury heard about five hours of closing argument. Special Prosecutor Dan Webb said Jesse Smollett took the stand in his own defense, but tailored his testimony. Quote, he lied under oath to you, jurors, accusing Smollett of providing false testimony. The jury was reminded that Smollett didn't hand over his cell phone or medical records to police. If he is a true victim of a crime, then he would not be withholding evidence from the police department, Webb said. Smollett told the jury he didn't provide that evidence because he values his privacy. Prosecutors also argue that there would have been no way for brothers Ola and Abel Osindaro to be at the exact location of the attack at the time Smollett was if they didn't coordinate the attack. Smollett says his attackers yelled racial and homophobic slurs, doused him with bleach, and put a rope around his neck. While on the stand, Smollett admitted that he tampered with the rope before police arrived. I'm pissed off. Contradicting claims the actor made in a nationally televised interview just weeks after the reported attack. Leading up to the alleged attack, prosecutors told the jury that Smollett exchanged five phone calls, 40 texts, and nine Instagram messages with Abel Osindaro. Prosecutors say they were planning the fake attack. Smollett says there was no hoax. Smollett's attorney, Nene Uche, screaming to the jury, I believe Mr. Smollett is absolutely innocent. Let me make that clear. Trying to cast doubt on the brothers' credibility, saying they are the worst type of criminals because they're intelligent. Uche ending his argument by pleading with the jury, quote, you don't convict someone because you think he did it, you prove it. But Webb says this case is simple, instructing the jury, we have proven this case by overwhelming evidence. Now, while court is done for the day, we do understand that the jury has asked for a calendar uh, from this trial. Prosecutors have made a lot to do uh, with the calendar, the timeline of events from when this alleged hoax plan uh, originated to the time it was carried out just a few days at the end of January 2019. Again, this case in the jury's hands. Uh, no verdict tonight, but the jury will be back at it tomorrow. We are live from the Layton Criminal Courthouse. Charlie DeMar. CBS 2 News. Another long day. Thank you, Charlie. Be the first to know when there is a verdict in the Smollett trial. Sign up for our alerts at CBSChicago.com. We will carry the decision live right here on CBS 2 and on our digital streaming network, CBS and Chicago.